Okay guys, well we're gonna do something a little different. My name's Chuck and I'm here, I'm Chuck Newt, and I'm here, I'm uh, doing something uh, different for me. We're gonna do a little cooking video tonight. And uh, let me get turned around, I'll show you what we're gonna get started on. Okay guys, so I got, me, got some uh, charcoal going down here in the old uh, uh, chimney, getting it started. And I'm going to be putting it up here in the old Brinkman smoker. I'm not going to be, primarily, I'm not going to be using it as a smoker. However, I am going to be doing some reverse sear on a, on a ribeye steak here in a few. Um, let me tell you about uh, the bricks down here. Basically, what the purpose of the bricks in the bottom of my smoker is, is to be a heat sink. So when I open up the top of the smoker, I don't lose all my heat. It doesn't all go away because those dudes will suck up heat and uh, and then uh, radiate it back out once it when when the uh, smoker is cooling down when you open the door. So that's the purpose of the bricks in here. So I'm gonna let this uh, let this charcoal go for a little bit here and uh, let it get a good start, and I'll show you what we're up to in just a little bit. Okay, so we got us a good fire going here, and we're gonna dump this in the fire box over here in the smoker. I'll probably end up adding uh, a bit more charcoal after a while, but that'll get me started because this is gonna burn for a while. Because you see, I got myself a nice wrapped up baked potato there. I know I could do this and five minutes in a uh, microwave but I'm not in any hurry so there we go that's the beginning okay guys so it's about a 10 ounce or so uh, ribeye steak that I'm getting ready to put on the grill here and uh, I just uh, hit it with a little bit of Lowry seasoned salt um, some onion powder and some garlic powder that's all I need there you go. Well, that'll let go. We're going to reverse sear this. So I'm going to put this over here on the cool side of the grill for a little bit. And then in a little bit, and then in a little while, we're going to move it over on top of it. Put the sear on the end. There you go. Okay, guys. So now adding to the reverse sear steak, I got me a pan full of onions. I got some butter down the bottom. I got some onions and some big old mushroom slices in there to go with this. This is going to be a good meal. I got one more thing to add in here shortly, so stay watching. Oh yeah, look at that guys. Got it going on right now. Oh, wow, look at that. That's perfect. Looks good to me. And over here, I added a pack of Foil packet, yeah, a foil packet full of uh, broccoli back there. And I got my onions and my potato going. Here in a minute, we're gonna have it. We're gonna have it. And uh, so stick with me. Look at that, dude. Okay, guys, look at that. Totally done on the grill. Steamed broccoli that I had in the foil pouch. My baked potato. I used the butter that I sauteed the onions and the and the uh, mushrooms onto my baked potato there and then believe it or not there really is a reverse a reverse seared ribeye steak under there and guess what's getting ready it's getting ready to all disappear very shortly so there you go it's easy as that thanks for watching 